Ellen Drew, an actress who graced the silver screen with her radiant presence, was born Esther Loretta Rill on November 11, 1915, in Kansas City, Missouri. She began her career in the 1930s as a chorus girl and model before making her film debut in 1939. Drew's breakthrough role came in the 1940 film My Son, My Son, where she played the female lead opposite Brian Ahern. Her performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, leading to a contract with Paramount Pictures. Throughout her career, Drew appeared in over 50 films, including classics such as The Lady Eve with Barbara Stanwyck and Henry Fonda and His Girl Friday with Cary Grant and Rosalind Russell. She also starred in the popular television series The Bob Cummings Show in the 1950s. Drew's talent extended beyond acting, as she was also a skilled singer and dancer. She showcased her musical abilities in several films, including Buck Benny Rides Again with Jack Benny and The Miracle of the Bells with Fred McMurray. Despite her success, Drew remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She once said, I've always been grateful for the opportunities I've had in this business. I've worked with some of the greatest actors and directors in the industry, and I've learned so much from them. Ellen Drew's legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and film enthusiasts to this day. Her contributions to the entertainment industry will always be cherished, and her classic films remain timeless. Actress Ellen Drew, also known as Estelle Drew Bayless, was born on November 23, 1915, in Kansas City, Missouri. She began her career in Hollywood as a contract player for Paramount Pictures in the late 1930s. Ellen Drew appeared in various films and television shows throughout her career, including Mr. Lucky, The Man Who Came to Dinner, and Born to be Bad. Do you remember the first work of Ellen Drew that you watched? Was it a film or a television show? When was the first time you recognized this classic star? Perhaps you saw her in His Girl Friday with Cary Grant or The Body Disappears with Bob Hope. No matter where you first encountered Ellen Drew, her performances left an impression. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Ellen Drew? Share your thoughts in the comments below. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about Ellen Drew, so keep watching this video. You won't want to miss it. Born Esther Loretta Rillings in 1915, Ellen Drew's story began in Kansas City, Missouri. The future actress was the youngest of five children in a hardworking family. Her father, a railroad man, and her mother, a housewife, instilled in Drew a strong sense of determination and resilience. At a young age, the family moved to Colorado where Drew's love for performing took root. While working as a model in Chicago, Drew was discovered by a talent scout, marking the beginning of her film career. She started as an extra, gradually transitioning to supporting roles in various films. In 1939, her career took a significant turn when she was cast as the lead in dancing co-ed a musical comedy that became a surprise hit. Drew's path was influenced by several key figures in the industry. Among them was director Howard Hawks, who saw her potential and cast her in Ball of Fire alongside Gary Cooper and Barbara Stanwyck. This classic film not only solidified Drew's status as a leading lady, but also provided her with the opportunity to learn from seasoned professionals. Another significant influence was actor and director John Wayne, who starred with Drew in the Spoilers and Tall in the Saddle. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, and Drew credited Wayne with teaching her valuable acting techniques. Despite her success, Drew remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to take on diverse roles, showcasing her versatility as an actress in dramas, comedies, and film noirs. Throughout her career, Drew's passion for storytelling and her commitment to her characters left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and captivate audiences worldwide. Ellen Drew, an actress who gained popularity in the 1930s and 1940s, significantly influenced the film industry during her era and beyond. She began her career as a chorus girl and later transitioned to acting, where she starred in various films such as My Favorite Blonde and The Perfect Marriage. Drew's impact on Hollywood was notable. She was known for her versatility appearing in various film genres, including comedies, dramas, and film noirs. Her performances were often praised for their authenticity and emotional depth, which resonated with audiences. One of Drew's most significant contributions to Hollywood was her ability to portray strong and independent female characters. In My Favorite Blonde, she played a comedic role as a woman who disguises herself as a man to evade capture. Meanwhile, in The Perfect Marriage, she played a more dramatic role as a woman who discovers her husband's infidelity. 
In both films, Drew's characters were portrayed as intelligent, resourceful, and independent, which was a departure from the typical female roles of the time. Drew's influence extended beyond her on-screen performances. She was also known for her advocacy for actors' rights and her efforts to improve working conditions in the film industry. She was an active member of the Screen Actors Guild and served as a board member for several years. In conclusion, Ellen Drew's contributions to Hollywood were significant and enduring. Her versatility as an actress, her ability to portray strong and independent female characters, and her advocacy for actors' rights all contributed to her impact on the film industry. Her legacy continues to be celebrated and studied by film enthusiasts and scholars alike. As a young girl, Ellen Drew found solace in the world of movies. She would often skip school to spend afternoons at the local theater, captivated by the enchanting stories unfolding on the silver screen. One day, while watching a film with a particularly memorable leading lady, something shifted within her. She felt an inexplicable pull, a burning desire to be like that actress, to transport audiences to different worlds, and evoke a range of emotions through her performance. This defining moment sparked Ellen Drew's passion for acting. She began performing in local plays, and, after being discovered by a talent scout, made her way to Hollywood. Her natural talent and undeniable charisma quickly caught the attention of studio executives, and she was soon cast in supporting roles. However, it was her breakout performance in the 1939 film Dancing Co-Ed that truly solidified her place as a rising star. In this classic, Ellen's charm and comedic timing shone through, leaving audiences clamoring for more. From then on, she became a staple in Hollywood, gracing the screens with her presence in various films and television shows. Throughout her career, Ellen Drew continued to push the boundaries of her craft, taking on diverse roles that allowed her to showcase her versatility and range. Her unwavering dedication and passion for acting not only fueled her desire to excel in her career, but also left an indelible mark in the world of cinema, inspiring generations of aspiring actors and actresses to pursue their dreams. Ellen Drew, a renowned actress, received a star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars in 1997, joining the ranks of other Hollywood greats. In 1936, she became a mother to her son, David. One of Drew's most notable auditions was for the role of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind. She participated in screen tests on February 9, 12, and 19, 1938, showcasing her talent and versatility. Although she did not ultimately secure the part, her dedication and skill were evident in her performances. The actress's career spanned various roles in film and television, leaving a lasting impact on the industry and audiences alike. Her work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by fans of this classic era. Drew's contributions to the world of entertainment have undoubtedly left a mark on its landscape, inspiring future generations of performers. Her legacy is a testament to her talent and dedication to her craft. Ellen Drew, a budding actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born Estelle Merle O'Brien Thompson on November 23, 1915, in Kansas City, Missouri, she experienced financial struggles that threatened to derail her dreams. However, she remained undeterred, working as a model and a bank teller to support herself. In the male-dominated film industry, Drew encountered skepticism from industry insiders. Yet, she refused to let this discourage her. Instead, she honed her craft, taking acting classes and performing in local theater productions. Her hard work and determination paid off when she was discovered by a talent scout and offered a contract with Paramount Pictures. Despite being typecast in minor roles, Drew persevered. She embraced every opportunity, no matter how small, and used each role to showcase her talent and versatility. Her breakout role came in the 1939 film My Son, My Son, where she starred alongside Brian Ahern. This classic film not only showcased her acting prowess, but also helped her gain recognition in the industry. Drew's resilience and creative solutions to the obstacles she faced are a testament to her enduring spirit. She refused to let financial struggles or industry skepticism stand in her way, instead using them as stepping stones to success. Today, her legacy continues to resonate, inspiring future generations of actors and actresses to overcome their own challenges and pursue their dreams. Ellen Drew's acting career included a notable role in the pilot episode of the classic TV show Father Knows Best. She played Margaret Anderson, but Jane Wyatt took over the role when the series began its run on NBC. In addition to her work in television, Drew also made an impact in the culinary world. 
she developed an alternative to the traditional hot fudge sundae, which she named the Cinderella. This delicious dessert is made with peach, strawberries, pineapple, roasted almonds, lemon sherbet, vanilla ice cream, and whipped cream. It remains a popular menu item to this day. Despite playing a significant role in a beloved television show and creating a classic dessert, Drew remains a somewhat enigmatic figure in the world of entertainment. Nevertheless, her contributions to both television and the culinary world have left a lasting impression. Ellen Drew's career took off in the late 1930s, marked by a significant breakthrough in the film Dangerous to Know. This classic crime drama, directed by Robert Flory, showcased the actress's ability to hold her own alongside seasoned stars like Anthony Quinn and Gail Patrick. Critics took notice of Drew's natural screen presence and praised her performance, setting the stage for her rise to fame. In 1940, the actress landed the lead role in the beloved comedy, My Son, My Son. This film became a turning point in her career as she demonstrated her comedic timing and charmed audiences with her warmth and wit. The film's success led to Drew being cast in more high-profile roles, further solidifying her status as a rising star. A pivotal moment in Drew's career came in 1944, when she starred in the groundbreaking film The Imposter, directed by Julien Duvivier. This classic film noir featured Drew as a femme fatale, a role that challenged her acting abilities and allowed her to explore new depths as a performer. Critics and audiences alike were captivated by her performance, which was hailed as a significant milestone in her career. Throughout the 1940s and 1950s, Ellen Drew continued to deliver standout performances in a variety of film genres, from drama and comedy to film noir and westerns. Her ability to adapt to different roles and styles made her a versatile and sought-after actress in Hollywood. In conclusion, Ellen Drew's career was marked by several breakthrough moments, each one showcasing her talent and versatility as a performer. From her early roles in crime dramas and comedies to her later work in film noir and westerns, Drew left an indelible mark on Hollywood and continues to be remembered as a classic actress who captivated audiences with her charm and charisma. Ellen Drew, an actress who graced the silver screen during the 1930s and 1940s, is perhaps best known for her role in the film My Favorite Blonde. In this classic comedy, Drew stars alongside Bob Hope, playing the character of Karen Bentley, a struggling actress who becomes entangled in an espionage plot. One memorable scene occurs when Karen, disguised as a blonde, outwits a group of German spies, showcasing Drew's comedic timing and charm. Another iconic role for Drew was in the film The Perfect Marriage, where she played the character of Lois Clark, a woman torn between her love for her husband and her desire for a successful career. In one poignant scene, Lois delivers a heartfelt monologue about the challenges of balancing work and family life, which still resonates with audiences today. Drew's talent extended beyond comedy and drama, as evidenced by her performance in the film Noir Corner. In this tense thriller, Drew played the character of Laura Kearns, a woman suspected of being involved in a Nazi war criminal's escape. One unforgettable scene features Drew's character confronting the criminal in a tense standoff, highlighting her versatility as an actress. Throughout her career, Ellen Drew left an indelible mark on the film industry, showcasing her talent in a variety of genres. Her iconic roles continue to be celebrated and remembered by audiences and film enthusiasts alike. Ellen Drew, an actress who graced the silver screen during Hollywood's golden age, was known for her versatility and unique approach to her work. She began her career in the late 1930s, initially using the name Terry Hayes before transitioning to Ellen Drew. Drew's artistic vision was deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. Growing up during the Great Depression, she developed a strong sense of resilience and determination, which she brought to her roles. She was particularly drawn to characters who embodied strength and independence, often portraying women who challenged societal norms and expectations. Her process was meticulous and thoughtful. Before accepting a role, she would carefully consider the script, exploring the character's motivations and backstory. She once stated, I have to understand the character I'm playing to know what makes her tick. This approach allowed her to create nuanced and believable performances, resonating with audiences long after the film ended. Drew's unique style was characterized by her ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and drama. In one film, she might be the quick-witted leading lady, delivering sharp dialogue with perfect timing. In the next, she might be the vulnerable heroine, navigating complex emotional landscapes with grace and authenticity. 
Her performance in the 1940 film My Son, My Son, is a testament to her range and versatility. In this classic drama, she plays a devoted mother grappling with her son's descent into criminality. Drew's portrayal is both heart-wrenching and powerful, earning her critical acclaim and solidifying her status as a talented actress. Despite her success, Drew remained grounded and dedicated to her craft. She once said, I'm just an actress doing her job. I'm grateful for the opportunities I've had, but I never forget that it's the story and the character that matter most. This humility and commitment to her art are reflected in her enduring body of work. Ellen Drew's career as an actress was marked by both success and personal loss. One tragic fact about her life is that she lost her first husband, Richard George, in World War II. George was a sailor in the U.S. Navy and was killed in action in 1943. Drew was left to raise their young daughter on her own while also maintaining her acting career. Despite the challenges she faced, Drew continued to work in film and television, appearing in classics such as His Girl Friday and The Perfect Marriage. Her strength and determination in the face of adversity serve as a testament to her resilience as an artist and a person. Ellen Drew was an actress who made her mark in Hollywood during the 1930s and 1940s. She began her career as a chorus girl before transitioning to film, where she quickly gained popularity for her beauty and charm. Drew's contribution to the industry is significant as she challenged traditional gender roles and brought a fresh perspective to the screen. One of Drew's most notable films was My Favorite Blonde, where she starred alongside Bob Hope. In this classic comedy, Drew played a comedic role, which was a departure from the more serious characters she had played in previous films. This shift showcased her versatility as an actress and her ability to adapt to different genres. Drew's impact on the industry extended beyond her acting abilities. She was known for her advocacy for women's rights and her efforts to promote gender equality in Hollywood. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, actress and director Greta Gerwig commented on Drew's influence, stating, Ellen Drew was a trailblazer for women in Hollywood. She challenged traditional gender roles and paved the way for future generations of actresses to take on more dynamic and complex characters. Drew's influence can also be seen in modern-day storytelling. Her ability to balance humor and drama, as well as her advocacy for women's rights, continue to inspire filmmakers and actresses today. As film critic A.O. Scott noted in the New York Times, Drew's legacy can be seen in the many actresses who have followed in her footsteps, taking on challenging roles and advocating for gender equality in the industry. In conclusion, Ellen Drew was a groundbreaking actress who made significant contributions to the film industry. Her advocacy for women's rights and her ability to adapt to different genres helped to challenge traditional gender roles and pave the way for future generations of actresses. Her impact and influence continue to resonate in modern-day storytelling. As you reflect on the career of Ellen Drew, one question that comes to mind is, what makes her work so timeless? This actress, known for her versatile roles and captivating performances, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her work in films like The Perfect Marriage and My Favorite Blonde showcased her ability to shine in various genres. The actress's ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters made her performances truly memorable. In this classic, she often portrayed strong, independent women, which resonated with audiences and continues to do so today. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What's your favorite Ellen Drew film, and why does it resonate with you? By sharing your memories and opinions, you can help keep the legacy of this accomplished actress alive. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits that have shaped entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create engaging and informative content for you to enjoy. So, let's keep the conversation going. Tell us about your favorite Ellen Drew moments in the comments.